must also lift up what's called a strong prayer for the eastern part of the country, Nigeria. Because eastern part of the country, Nigeria, eastern part of the country, Nigeria, is going to experience what's called troublings. And this troublings is not just a troublings, but this is what's called destiny definition, destiny definition, def destiny definition. It's going to be like a troubling time. I see a lot of yellow plane trying to fly over the eastern part of the country. I see a lot of, 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 of war machines and a lot of, 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 of war equipment going into the roads and going from major road to major road. And the Lord said they must pray for the eastern part of this country because it's the destiny of this eastern part of the country is about to be defined. It's about to be defined. Because whether anybody likes it or not, Nigeria agrees or not, the best thing best to do is to settle their matter with the people of Biafra, especially the IPOB leader, Mazik Nambekano, and make sure that this matter is resolved once and for all. Because I am seeing what's called the, 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 the terrain, I'm seeing the terrain very hot and very, very difficult, and things now begin to now go beyond the human control and begin to go beyond the, the power of the government. I see so many institutions shut down over there and I begin to look at over there and I see so many institutions now moved out of that place and so many institutions just come in and the Lord said we must continue to intercede especially for the people in the eastern region part of this country because their space will be taken over and their land taken over and the place is taken over and I begin to look at the people who take over these places this is not nigeria but people that grew up from the land are standing tall to take over their lands and they now push out all the government institutions out of the place and the government of this country will now have what's called a complete parallel government there operating their separate government there and a separate government in nigeria the Lord said, we need to pray about this matter, especially this matter should be spiritually resolved because when we go to the spiritual world and begin to see visions of things that are in the spirit realm, we begin to now speak to the physical realm so that the people in the physical can understand. Many will not understand. This is not killing people. This is not people dying. This is what's called power tussle. And this is what's called army versus army. And the Lord said that the prayer must be interceded. For the reason for this prayer is that the Lord should take control. We pray for what is the will of God. And we don't pray for the will of man. We don't pray for what a man thinks. We pray for what God has in store. Must be only what must prevail. And that's why the song I sang, it said, Word of God is a vision unto me. The word of God is a vision unto me. The word of God is a vision unto me. I said, the word of God is a vision unto me.
major prophet of God to now begin to look at the spiritual world because we must pray. We must pray because a lot of things is to unfold in Nigeria and Africa. We need to make sure that our internal affairs are resolved. Nigeria as a country should resolve their internal affairs because internal affair if it does not consume Nigeria then you can withstand the external affairs because I'm saying what's called internal affairs and the external affair we must pray the prayer we must stand the guy the people in authority must be diplomatic enough to step out and take decisions that are very wise to settle their internal affairs so that the people can pray for prosperity people can pray for way forward people can now concentrate and talk about prosperity because everywhere is red because the month of september ending october august september october november december it's a very, 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 very expensive month. We need to pray. And the Lord had to help his people. Let the Lord show his people mercy. Let the Lord and the hand of the Lord prevail. So without wasting time, I am going to go straight away to pray for people. I'm going to pray for people who have taken me as their prophet. People who are people who always believe that this man of God is their prophet. I want to stand in the gap with you to pray serious prayer. And the prayer right now, as I pray right now, the Lord said, wherever you are, agree with me, lay your hand on your heart. As I begin to pray right now, let the heaven begin to open unto you. It doesn't matter how many months and years you've been praying for the particular issue in your life. Whatever it is that the Lord has predestined for your life, that you have been struggling over, you have been fighting to get to where you're going, you have been fighting to succeed, you have been fighting to become, you have been fighting to be healed, you have been fighting to be set free. I prophesy the hand of the Lord to come upon you wherever you are. Let the glory of God be upon you. Frontline defense is that heaven must fight your battle. Frontline defense is that God must make a way for you where there's no way. The frontline defense is that God will paralyze every power of the enemy. Whatever it is that struggle with your life, whatever it is that struggle with your destiny, whatever it is that struggle with your career, in any form, in any way that the enemy have been battling your life, I prophesy that the Lord begin to paralyze the enemy. The Lord begin to fight against those that fight against your life. The Lord begin to fight against those that fight against your dream. The Lord begin to fight against those that try to stop your career, that try to stop your destiny, that start to stop your business, that try to stop your future. I stand in the guard to say that that debt is not for you. That attack is not for you. That sickness is not for you. That pain is not for you. That persecution is not for you. That arrow is not for you. That projection is not for you. Whatever the enemy has projected against you, every strategy of the demon the enemies to plan against you to bring you down the lord will remove you from that angle whatever proposal from the pit of hell shall not work against you whatever proposal against your life against your destiny against your star shall not war whatever the enemy be using to battle your life be using to battle your destiny i prophesy upon your life and the decree and declare that the glory of god shall rise upon you the finished work of jesus on the cross of calvary i planted the gap to pray that the power of the law begin to speak on your behalf the hand of the law begin to lift up on your behalf to shut down every kingdom to shut down every cover to shut down every proposal to shut down whatever the enemy propose against you and your family who is that man that is persecuting your family who is tormenting your family who is troubling your destiny who is troubling your star i prophesy the power of the law break that chain every chain against you spiritually and physically whatever the enemy have ever used against your job against your destiny against your staying in that country against your documents against your health 
against your body the Lord dismantled them all in the name of Jesus and I plead the blood as you say amen say amen to this prayer the Lord is using to war for you say amen to this prayer the Lord is using to fight your battle say amen to this prayer the Lord is going ahead of you spiritually to take away that attack on your body to take away those sickness in your family to take away those persecution as I'm praying right now there's a woman you're watching me your son have been married some of your sons have been married and I'm seeing it is a, 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 a child one of your child cannot have children he been struggling to have children is a problem one your daughter have been married and be struggling to have children if I be a prophet of God and you are in this very prophecy that I'm prophesying right now I give your daughter from now to three months from now to three months your daughter will conceive and tell you mommy I have a baby in my womb whatever it will cause whatever it will take the heaven will make your daughter from now to three months I see a baby in that womb I don't care to know what the enemy is doing I don't care to know the proposal of the wicked all I know is that the Lord has given a child there's a baby a baby baby boy a baby boy a baby boy a baby boy let it be so in the name of Jesus I pray as I'm still praying now the Lord is opening a the door there's a man you are watching me right now for over three months now you don't have a job you don't have a job you are just in Europe there's no job as I'm talking to you right now next week Monday next week Monday a job is about to be handed over to you there is a job you are going for on Monday this coming Monday by the Spirit of God I prophesy to you and I prophesy to your spirit I prophesy that job if you have not gotten about the job you have not had anything about the job watch out after this prayer from now to tomorrow from now to on Monday you will hear about the job and you are picking up that job and you are doing that job there's a man watching me you are right there in the united states you'll be complaining say my job is not enough for me you are not working enough because they're giving you this is four hours this is four hours and you needed something like eight hours you needed more than four hours right now as i'm speaking right now as you say amen to this prayer the lord said within now and the next week the Lord is bringing another connection that will make your job to be eight hours. Any man or woman standing the gap against you, the Lord clear them out of the way and the Lord grant you your desire. I prophesy to you with the power of the Holy Ghost. I prophesy you with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I prophesy to you with the grace of God upon my life and I decree and declare you will have a testimony. You will have a testimony. There's a man watching me right now. This your your right hand side, the right hand side, and that person left hand side. I'm seeing you complaining severely. Right hand side, complaining severely from your back here, the hand down to the feet. You are complaining to carry the leg is a problem. It's like they want to paralyze your part of your body. But right now, as I'm speaking right now, the part of the Lord has come to where you are, and I see a healing give it to you. There's a man watching me now. You are complaining. Since things have gone up, you are no more into business you are into gas you to do gas gas this is gas business you are complaining seriously that the business of gas is not favoring you again you are not happy anymore because things are not going the way it ought to go as i'm speaking right now the lord said a way is made for you a connection is brought on your way i see you begin to progress again i see you begin to make it again i see the door open for you again as you say amen to this very prayer the lord is opening wide the door the lord is opening wide the door the lord is doing great things for you receive your blessings receive your favor receive your breakthrough receive a turn around let the lord speak word of positivity upon your life that everything begin to turn around for you in the name of jesus and the lord gave me a song for you he said i can see everything turning around see everything turning around see everything turning around for you i can see everything turning around
I'm not 